We'll let them know when it's time for background to run. Hello and welcome. We have another uh, exciting filmmaker Q&A for the 2021 Die Laughing Film Festival. Um, as you probably know, we are going to be online this year. So that means all the official selections will be available online for viewing starting May 28th at noon Pacific through May 29th at 10 p.m. But as a bonus, we're going to talk to various filmmakers about their projects. And this one is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, not necessarily for the subject matter, but the way it was uh, put together. It's, it's remarkably um, clever. Okay, and I'm going to introduce Neil. You are the uh, director, writer, and um, star. Thank you. Anything yes, else? That is me. Did you do yes, the correct. crafty too? Uh, An executive producer. Oh, okay. I'm the executive producer as well. Yeah. No, that's just money. Okay. So no, Neil, uh, tell us about yourself, the log yep. line, and a little bit about the dump. Yeah, so I'm an actor, producer, primarily actor, producer. Uh, this was my first endeavor, uh, second endeavor into, into writing, first endeavor into directing. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm originally from Boston, uh, but I spent the last 20 years in New York, which is where uh, I filmed the movie. And uh, I'm in LA now, as you know. Um, so yeah, this, this short film, uh, the, the log line is basically a woman goes to extraordinary lengths to save her relationship. Uh, that's the, the easiest way I can sum it up without giving it away. Yeah, no spoilers here. You got to tune in no. on the 28th, but it'll be worth, uh, it'll be worth tuning in for the surprise. And Sybil, we have the, one of the producers here. Sybil, tell us a little bit about your role, how you got involved and. Yeah, of course. Um, so I've actually had the pleasure of getting to know um, Neil for the last couple of years as a filmmaker, as an actor as well. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I love his work. I know he's a very talented man. I know he's a brilliant writer. I've seen his writing. So when he was working on this project, actually, this is our second project together. Um, he had uh, approached me on the, his first project, Mortal Woman's, where we got to collaborate and we realized that we work really well together. <laughs> and it was wonderful. It was a great experience. That was kind of for a first project together that, great, you know, because he does a lot of stunt work. You know, he's a, he's a, he does um, jujitsu. So of course, to do a film that was full of um, action was really exciting when he wrote that. So getting involved in it, sort of how we started collaborating. And then when he came up with the script, it was kind of a no brainer when he said, well, I have this other script, like, let's do it. There was no question about it, you know? So it was really fun and I and it was funny. I love the comedy in it. It's also very different um, from the things I've seen Neil write or do. So I thought that was what made it really appealing to me to work on. <laughs> Well, how great that you've worked on two projects and they're so diverse, you know? Absolutely. I'm assuming War, War <laughs> of Wounds is not a comedy, right? No. <laughs> uh, is it a comedy? No, no, no. Uh, you know. <laughs> Although maybe Me. the sequel to War of Wounds could be Mortal Dumps. And it could be if, if we can find um, a way yeah. to do a crossover, that could be very yeah. interesting. That yeah. could be very interesting. Then you throw in there to your <laughs> other film, that yeah. just becomes a whole. He also has yeah. a thriller, just so you know. So yeah, that will just be a very diverse genre. <laughs> and Gerard, welcome. You're the DP, correct? That's correct. Yeah. Now that is your trade. That is your. Uh, Yes, that's what I do. I used to be a fashion photographer for over 40 years. Oh, interesting. And I, yeah, and I switched slowly to, to film for more than 15 years now, so. Wow. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's, images is really what I do, so. You must have a very interesting perspective on the transition, you know, with respect to technology and you know, the changes and... Um... Yeah, well, not just technology because uh, most people don't realize that the transition for, let's say, even a fashion photographer, which was, was to doing film is very scary because right off the bat, you think they're gonna judge you because you can't move the camera, you don't know how. You know, you can just take still shots, but that's not what it's about. So it was a... It takes a little bit of courage to make the transition. So. Absolutely. But, I but think, it's very rewarding. 
<laughs> yeah, because, you know, the eye is the eye, you know, and I think yes, even if it's photography, you you want like probably the better photographers want movement in photography, you know, it well, it's shot, but it's got to have light. You are so right, because the minute I touch moving images, I realized that I was a frustrated director or, or filmmaker because when you're showing a photograph, nobody knows if the, the frame before was better or the frame after was better. And I always felt like I wanted to show the girl I was doing fashion, like from where she was starting from to where she was going and the sound. Yeah. I didn't have that. So all of a sudden I had all this like at my reach. And plus it also gave me a chance to work. I love working with, with a team. I don't like to be alone oh. working. I like, yeah which is not the spirit of a fashion photographer. Fashion photography is my picture, you know, like, don't touch that shit, you know? but, uh, <laughs> but I love working with people. So. <laughs> well, it, it looked like a million bucks. The film looked really, really great. And, um, you know, I give anyone credit to shoot in New York. I mean, it's not an easy town to, to shoot in by any means, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. Sybil all about that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll I tell mean, you something I'm, about that. I'm sorry, but uh, I should give the credit to Neil because he approached that thing like, we shot the film in a day and a half. This is not like you have to do it, okay? And he just trusted me completely. Let's just do this and we're doing it, right? <laughs> Getting shots and stuff. So he's the one who made that decision and I followed, you know? So Mr. Director, first time director. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, well, well, I appreciate that, but I'm also going to say that without Sybil, <laughs> none of that happens because, be, be, because simply because it's it's interesting to be a first time director who's also the lead actor in the movie, and you know, so th there was a to, to have, so I don't know if we, I don't know if this was mentioned, but Sybil was also my assistant director, right? So so it, to have someone like that, to have her and Gerard. It, it was very important and I think it's yeah. very important when you're producing things uh, to to have people that really know what they're doing in your corner because you can't do it alone. Well, you it was a had... small it was a pretty small team. Oh, I'm sorry. I just no, go wanted ahead. to add it was a pretty small team. So I think it was important to have that synergy because we were obviously wearing uh, multiple hats as we're working. It was just like as Neil being the actor and also directing and also producing and, and me producing and ADing. And, but in a way it kind of worked because um, we we had, you know, we had each other's back, right? Same with Gerard, like we did, we had those long nights, you know, prepping this and getting this all together because we knew that it was gonna be a, you know, a tighter shoot. <laughs> But because everybody trusted each other, we were able to get it done. You know, there, there was so much, so many challenges along the way. As you said, shooting in New York and indie yeah, film, yeah, yeah. it's not easy. Sound, you mentioned sound, you know, sound was mentioned <laughs> a lot today. That was definitely one of our challenges because this yeah, is New York City. Yeah, yeah, but, um, yeah. but it was, you know, it shows, it goes to show you, even with our sound person, like how determined everyone to get it done. And we were going to get it done and we were going to get it right, you know, by hell and well, by water, basically. And if I may say something, you were the general on that thing, Sebo. Because I don't know if you remember, we we tight in you know in time. And she said, Well, we have to finish this. We have to shoot. I said, Well, one more shot, one more shot. Neil looked at me and he says, We don't have time. And oh, that just closed the camera and we just moved on. <laughs> so yeah, move on. But gotta go. without that, no, but without that, then there is no way we could have finished it. So you yeah. need a person yeah. like that to to drive you into, you know, staying on time. So Sibyl, really. So many yeah. times I think uh, people end up feeling rushed at the end, you know, and I think if you have someone kind of cracking the whip all along, then you can um, allot enough, sufficient time for everything, you know. Sybil yeah. has a very big whip. It's, it's, it's <laughs> good. <laughs> we are still talking about the film. Don't worry, Ray. <laughs> but but uh, you know, uh, I, I'm I'm taking this opportunity to give you some credit because uh, I know the pressure. I mean, we all were under pressure. But Neil, you know, like when we started talking about when do we start, what do we start, and so on, I started saying talking about that big G bomb that I wanted to use and stuff. I said, we have to, that's the first shot. 
because otherwise, like you were saying, guys saying, we won't have time to do anything else. So I'm so glad you said yes, because we could get that shot out of the way, clean up the room and then start working. So again, man, you know, I tell you. Well, certainly, you know, it's reflected in the final product. So congratulations. I really enjoyed it. I'm sure our audience will really enjoy it as well. I, I only expect great things from you all in the future. And I, and I hope you get to continue to collaborate because it's such a, it's such a, I get such a great sense of camaraderie. So that's really, really nice. So well, I know so I'm going to try to find Neil when I get to LA. <laughs> I'm not sure about Gerard, but you know, when he gets back, we're going to get him. <laughs> yeah, I, no doubt. Uh, but thank you so much for sharing. Uh, watch for The Dump starting May 28th through the 29th. Uh, it'll be available at the Die Laughing Film Festival and I'm sure at other festivals as well as, as they continue to, to spread the word. But thank you so much and uh, we'll see you at the festival.